we cannot extract from that stone. So uh, we choose calcium uh, carbonate out of uh, from salt. So let us um, give us more about why calcium carbonate. You can also use um, other alternatives, isn't it? You can also use yeah. like abaca, such like that. But why calcium carbonate? What is the what is what what thing you see in the calcium carbonate is really really feasible in doing such, such like this research? Uh, as we have uh, read on the internet or research on the internet, calcium carbonate is also uh, is actually one of the components of paper uh, used for a uh, coating process. But then, uh, uh, as, as we increase the percentage of calcium carbonate, uh, the paper will become more durable, uh, and as well as uh, the, the texture of it is, will, uh, will be like the uh, annual paper. And so, uh, and wh why do we choose calcium carbonate is that uh, Calcium carbonate is a uh, chemical compound in which uh, it's in the form of solid. Uh, yes. uh, it, it is one of the most abundant products. So and actually, um, calcium carbonate can, al can also be um, extracted or can also be come from uh, eggshells, seashells, dynamic bones, but we choose the, we choose the chalk. As the main, um, main, what do you call this? A source of calcium carbonate because shock is the most available one. And, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Others. Actually, there's a write up. We found a write up about uh, the rock paper in the internet. Uh, you can find that. Uh, uh, and there's a study, study shows that uh, calcium increase. Uh, uh, in this percentage of calcium carbonate can make a paper more durable and shine. And the and another thing, um, it, uh, uh, the calcium carbonate, like what I said uh, a while ago, is in the form of solid. That's why we all know that solid cannot be just burnt in a matter of minutes, in a matter of <laughs> seconds, but it takes um, time to be, to be burned. That's why the main, the major, um, the major characteristic of this paper that we, that we have or we had created is that it is fire resistant. Fire resistant. So the other question is, um, you said later that you use chalk, uh, chalk as your as the source for calcium carbonate, and also you said that seashells and eggshells have have. Have also calcium carbonate. Yes. So, why you use chalk and not eggshells and seashells? If, if also the seashells or the eggshells have calcium carbonate. Uh, actually, we use chalk because it's because it's it's much available rather than seashells and eggshells. Uh, when we use eggshells and seashells, uh, it its property when you ground it, it's very, it's very clean and sand, and coarse sand line. So when we, when, when we put up and make it a paper, it can, it, it will produce a texture that is not smooth. And another thing, um, many consider the chalk as, what do you call it, um, harsh or hindrance to our health. For those features, right? So we think of um, another use of chalk. That's why we come up with a paper that is made from chalk um, for 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 the chalk to be more usable, um, have many functions, and that. And one thing is chalk. Uh, if you will, uh, if you will uh, consider the concentration of calcium carbonate, it has uh, uh, ninety-eight percent, ninety-eight percent of calcium carbonate. Unlike uh, other alternatives such as Michel uh, and others, it, uh, it has a uh, lower concentration when compared to chalk. And, and in chalk, we don't have to extract 